Robert's been outside for like a solid three hours on this rest day working on his bike. So let's go check in with this fool, see what's happening. Robert, welcome to the vlog. So how long have you been working on your bike, man? A couple hours. I feel like, I feel like it's been like half the day. We do, we do got a bucket of soap and some torn up paper towels and a brand new clean cassette. I think he forgot that he was in Colorado because that looks like an 1123, but it's probably an 1125 or something along those lines. Oh, oh I was right. It is a 23. Whew. It'll be fine. Woo. Coming from the guy. Always in the big ring. Always. So, but yeah, Robert's here for like a month. Not at my house physically, but he's in Colorado. And uh, yeah, we're going to be training for a month and uh, see how it goes. So, uh, you can order things from him, I think. Dude does great work. Elevation Wheel Works out of Colorado Springs. Build some hella cool wheels. Put my time trial bike together. And new bottom bracket. New bottom bracket. Yeah, you. But yeah, that's like the guy to go to in Colorado Springs, I think. I mean, he gets work done fast. Reasonable pricing. Understands that people are broke especially bike racers and that we want our bikes yesterday it's like the best part of getting your bike work done Definitely gonna have to pay Post Malone for uh, for using his music on this one. Um, it's like 8.30 in the morning. Robert and I are gonna go do the group ride and then immediately go straight, like I mean immediately dart to the track race. We'll be cutting it close. Um, but yeah, should be a good day. I'm gonna take you along and we'll do some filming on the group ride, and I don't have a GoPro mount, so if anybody wants to do donate a GoPro mount, K-Edge GoPro mount with Garmin, you know, the nice ones, please do. Thank you. All right, see ya. So Casey, what's it like being my wife? I mean, I think you could go either way. Um, well, you don't but, you know, maybe if you talk to him, you uh, might have a little more insight. On weekends, that's not a thing. Uh, we talk about bikes a lot. But it's cool. Um, it's good to go. Drink a yeah. lot of coffee. Just go ahead and, and, and drop Sounds like name when a you talk perfect to life. Good. Uh, so we're running. We're running hella late right now. Uh, Robert's walk of shame. Look. Um, yeah, we're supposed to be at the group ride at 10. It's about a 10 minute ride over. It's uh, 9.52 right now. Thankfully, Colorado Springs group rides leave notoriously late. So, uh, but yeah, check back in and uh, we'll catch you on the ride. Time to spare. We're vlogging because we're, we're doing the track race later. Oh yeah. So we're doing this. And then we're going to the track race. <laughs> you want to come? Uh, I'll come we'll watch you. Out. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll bring, bring a little six pack. So Noah, uh, Nick, introduce yourself to the vlog. Being that we, it's 10 o'clock right now, and the group ride 
still hasn't decided that they want to leave. So yes. yeah, we got time, I think, yeah, for an interview. Uh, I'm Nick. I am a cyclist. <laughs> that's that's yeah, that was priceless, man. That's like today's show quality right there. What about what about you, Noah? Uh, I'm Noah. I'm from Minnesota. 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 All right. Up there in uh, Little Pass, Canada. Eh? Ah. So, you know, so so explain to me your dress attire. So we got we got leg warmers. Well, you gotta keep the knees warm. You but know? but the arms the arms we want to kind of keep a little cold. But the right. neck the neck you gotta keep that air warm as it goes in. There you have it, guys. Team USA right there. That's what it, that's what it is. So we're like two and a half hours in and we've made it to the track. It's uh it's game time. Obviously, we've missed all chances to sit down and have a place to sit, so we got stuck with the side table, the kids' table. But I'll update you here shortly. Getting some caffeine in, being that we had to race to get here, and uh, we got our faces smashed in on this group ride. So, yeah. But check in shortly. First up, scratch race. Got the win. We're pretty smash. It was like a what? 10 lap unknown distance? What would you say? 12 laps. <coughs> 12 laps. I literally just sat on the back for the majority of it. And then a group of six went across. I got about half a lap up and bridged across and won. All worked out pretty well. So, next race is tempo race and we'll uh, see how that goes. Gonna hit it hard from the gun and <coughs> go from there. So, yep, check back in. Back again. I think I won the tempo race. It was the weirdest race I've ever ridden. Um, essentially, I rode off the front with another guy and I pulled up to give him points and he didn't want to come through. So I just kept taking the points and then he attacked me and then I took the points again and yeah, it was just a weird, weird time. So, but anyways, I don't know who won. Um, waiting on results but now we got a 60 lap points race and uh yeah i just got something thrown at me a pretzel thrown at me from horvitt um but yeah so all right guys so i hit the trifecta i won the points race <coughs> not very not very easily though um just made sure i was in all the sprints uh but pretty good after you know the group ride and doing two and a half hours so I'm stoked on it time to get home we can get some food in us and then we're going shopping so we're finally home <coughs> we get to see Bennett which is probably the coolest thing ever let the pup out and hang now we're about to smash some cereal some protein Get some food in us and yeah, enjoy the rest of our Saturday. Well, we're going shopping. Thought about getting a late night coffee though, um, being that I have one more session. But uh, looks like Ross and then PetSmart. But first, coffee. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Uh, totally missed some clips in there. Um, totally just forgot to even record them. I was so smashed after racing. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is like a few days later um, that I'm actually recording this to just give the closing uh, credits to the vlog. But anyways, I'll be in Detroit this weekend. I'm super excited for uh, the Lexus Velodrome opening. Uh, so I'll do a vlog on that. And uh, yeah, so be on the lookout for that. Please subscribe. Um, but 
totally trying to get better at this vlogging thing and trying to get at least one out a week. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, until then, subscribe, watch my last videos. Um, yeah, take it easy. See ya.